for yes. reading? Yes. yes. Okay, Doctor. good. So it's both things. We give you the glasses and get the laser done. That's yes. good. The last one is, is has gone blind and both eyes a young man who can't see the play the work in the church. It's very sad. You bet me, yeah. Don't look at the light, look straight ahead. Very good. No, yeah, that's good. Look down just a little bit. Good. At the end of the process, the patients were very grateful for the treatment they had received, and many gave us gifts to express their gratitude. That's for everything. May his presence be always with you all. In the morning, the waiting room was packed with anxious people, but by the end of the day, we had treated everyone. Our means of transportation were far different than what we were used to. However, we were accustomed to the high gas prices. Whoa. <laughs> After a long day's work, we rested for tomorrow, which would prove to be just as difficult. The third day after taking the usual route to get to the uh, hospital, we helped and assisted Dr. Sobel with surgery, and that's what we focused on the entire day. Dr. Adams! An interesting event occurred on the third or fourth day of the mission. We already had patients lined up for surgery, some for cataract, some for retinal surgery. And uh, a guest ophthalmologist from the country of Cuba, who I've met before and seen on previous missions, was there working with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Basir, you're doing wonderful. You're underway here, okay? Are you having pain? Yes, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I just want to make sure you're not having pain. He and I found a patient that needed a combination procedure, a procedure both for a cataract and for the retinal difficulties. His idea was to do them both at the same time since the patient had medical problems that would make it difficult for him to have more than one anesthesia. Take a deep breath, please. Take a deep breath. Hold it. Take a deep breath again. The mission participants have to come into the operating room and help learn how to run the equipment. It's specialized equipment called vitrectomy equipment and laser equipment called endolaser equipment. They have to know how to work the machinery and hook up the machinery while I'm scrubbed in a sterile technique doing the surgery itself. Push it in all the way. Push the whole cassette. That's it. Okay, this has to stay sterile. This is invaluable in making sure that the patients get good care. It's going well and you'll hopefully be rewarded with some vision. I still can't see because his retina's in Now, I may ask to adjust the, the power settings. So you turn this up so you can adjust the time. Power down and power. Okay? Yes. Um, can you pull these up again? But unbeknownst to me, he had already decided to call one of the local reporters and report this procedure, this combination procedure, which had never been done in the islands before, as a as a newsworthy event. Five years. What was it to do? What was it to do? Humanitarian. He was surprised to find that we had been visiting the island for four or five years now, 
and that we were already well known to a lot of the uh, local uh, local populace. We don't just want to focus on bad news. Ah, there's this a is lot good of news. bad news, this and, and that's news. the funny thing. A lot most, of bad news in the world. This is most good of the times when good news is taking place, people don't want the publicity, like what you what yeah. you would say. But then the front page is splashed with murders and rapes. And they, they asked me to come here because they didn't have anyone to do the retina surgery. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine, who was a cataract surgeon, kept seeing all these retina surgeries that needed to be done. And the people have no way of coming to the States. In addition, the young men have collected glasses with the Lions Club, over glasses, and, and measure them and clean them. And then they help in the clinic, people who can't afford to get glasses. We've been in clinic the last two days, very long. Last night we came back, like maybe 7, 8 o'clock at night. After five days and nearly 100 patients later, it was time to go home. We saw just under 100 patients total. That was a big success because the mission participants had worked very hard to try to learn the basics of prescribing glasses.